Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna make a video on the Behringer X32 on how to label something here on the scribble strips here. The X32 has these really cool uh, ability to, to put a name on it and a little picture on it. So let me just show you what I'm doing here on these channels here. This is going to be uh, the channels for the computer over there. And so I want to have a left and right channel right here. And so in order to do this, uh, to label this would, would make sense. Uh, let's see, you're gonna make sure you select your, your channel, go up here to the setup button right here. And then you only need to make sure that you scribble over to this, or scrub over to this scribble strip to your page over to it rather. And then you see a couple options here. Now, you can actually do a lot right here. You could you could do all your channels really, you know, without even having to go back and, and re-push which channel you're working on, uh, which is nice. But just make sure you're selected to the right one on this knob here. This knob, you're gonna be able to change whatever color you want it to be. So I'm gonna kind of show you as I'm scrolling through here. And you can see on this, there's an invert right here. I'm gonna push it and it's going to invert that. So I could be, you know, like on yellow or invert the yellow like that. That makes sense. So you can kind of do either way. I like it where it's not inverted. Um, regardless, let's see, I'm gonna, why don't I just pick yellow for now. Then on this one over here, this next knob, I can select what I want it to be. So I've got all kinds of drum options, guitars, speakers, keyboards, brass, vocals, microphones, and then I am looking for something that would be good for a computer or I'm gonna do that, just the PC right there. And so I'm gonna select that. And you can see that little picture is right there on the scribble strip. Next thing I'm gonna do is to label this. Now there's a couple uh, pre-made labels here that you can make, that you can use if you want to. And I'm gonna use this one that's PC like that and then you can see down here that it says PC right there in the bottom left. Well, let's just say I wanted to label it something different. I could go over to, to this one, hit edit, and then I've got this this thing I can thing I can edit with here. So um, let's see, I'm gonna just call this um, first I need to delete this text right here. You can go back and forth with your cursor or you can push down and it's kind of like your backspace. Okay, so you can cursor. So let me just kind of get some letters in here so you can kind of see what's going on. I could, if I wanted to, oh shoot, I misspelled that. Or uh, I want to put in another letter in here, I could insert that there. Or I can just come in, delete this whole thing. So let's label it computer for now. C O. M, P, and I'm gonna label this one computer left, because it's the left channel. I'm gonna do a space, and then just put an L like that. And if I wanted to, I could come over and use lowercase letters or numbers if I wanted to. So now, if we go down here, I can see comp L right there, and you know what, L may not make sense to some people using our system. I'm gonna just go ahead and spell that out since I have the space to do it. And you can see computer left right there. So that is how you do the scribble scripts on the Behringer X32. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in another video.